I went to medical school at the University of Washington in Seattle, and then I did my residency in neurosurgery at the University of Virginia. And at that time, the University of Virginia was the neurosurgical training program. You went there if you wanted to be a chairman of a department. It was a, a legendary uh, chairman, and the program was brutal. There were no uh, work hour restrictions. There were days that you never left the hospital. It was operation after operation. It was a spectacular experience. But even, even at the end of that, it was an eight year residency, even at the en end of that, I wasn't satisfied. I felt that I wasn't quite good enough. And so I spent an extra year, another year of fellowship training with Art Day at Harvard University at the Brigham Women's Hospital in microvascular neurosurgery. And this was really taking that to the next level. And the reason I did that was I wanted to be able to look at my patients in the eye and say, there is nobody better my age to do your operation than me. There may be people just as good, but there's nobody better. And if I couldn't say that to you, to my patient, then I really felt like I'm doing you a disservice. And if that's the case, I shouldn't be doing this. I should go off and do something else. Because if I'm not providing the absolute best surgical care, then what am I doing? I'm doing you an injustice. <laughs>